I have renamed all the files that have some JSX to use the .tsx extension and also the ones that have only pure TypeScript to use the TS extension. So now all my files have errors. So we're going to be going over how we'd fix these errors in TypeScript. So this is the button component and it's the one you're seeing here on the screen. So basically what it does is it takes in the on press, the title and also the variant to use and then the extra style if we needed to use it. So what it goes ahead to do is it has its own predefined styles and then it goes ahead to use the variant that the user passes and then that variant is used as the background color. So right now what we need to do is go ahead and explicitly specify the types for this function, this title and also this style. And it also helps to be able to type out this component and specify that it's a functional component. So to do that, what we can do here is we can use an interface and then we need to give it a name. So we're going to say interface prop and then in here we can go ahead and specify these properties in the interface. So we'll say that hey, this button is, go is going to need to be given the on press function. So we can go ahead and specify the type for the on press by specifying a full colon and then if it's a function, you want to write it like this and then at the end you want to put the return type. So for functions that don't actually return anything, for example, the on press will be just a fire and and forget it won't be returning anything back to where it was called from you can say that that one returns void okay and if it's like a function that adds two numbers and needs to return the, the needed to return the sum you want to say that it returns a number instead but right now our own press is not returning anything so let's go ahead and type the title so the title is going to be a string so you want to write the property and then its type let's go ahead and type the variant now when it comes to the variant it could be a string right so it could be a string like this and that enables us that in the usage we can be able to pass anything any string that we would want but sometimes we may not want to allow every string we might want to allow only a specific set of string values for example for the variant let's say we only wanted to accept red and also blue we would specify this and this creates something called a union type so anything else we use will not be accepted so let's go ahead and type out the style. So whenever you want to use a style that you want to be using to style the view, you can use a special type called view style. So this is built into React, this ships with React Native. So you want to use view style instead. And since in React Native, we can be able to also pass an array as a style. What you can do is you can also specify that it can be a view style or it can be a view style array like this. All right. So now that we've defined our interface for our props, what we need to do is come and tell this component that, hey, we're going to be using this interface for these props, so make sure they match. So what you can do here is you can specify that this is a functional component by adding FC. And then in here, you can go ahead and add your special type. So our special type is props, and that's what you want to add. So when you do that, notice that all our errors go away. But one thing I want to show you here is let's say we wanted to enable the user to customize the text here. So what we'll do is we'd expect a prop of course. So now if you're accepting style props that you're going to be using to pass the text, you can use a special type called text style. So let's go ahead and get text style. And also it can be passed as an array. So you can say, okay, maybe, so you can say, okay, it can be a text style or it can be a text style array. So then we can safely come and also add it to our, our text such that it can also apply if we pass it from the screen. Okay, and when I do this, notice that we get an error. That's because we need to also accept it here. All right, so now that we've typed out our button component, we are sure that this is how we want it to be used. If we go to the usages, I'm gonna go to the usage, I'm gonna go to the login where I'm using it. So notice where we are using this button. First of all, you can see we have some errors and it is saying that, hey, we are not passing the variant. We are also not passing the style. We are also not passing the title style. So since these properties here are not something that we must have the user to provide every time. So what you can do is in the component, we can specify them to be optional. So I'm going to come here and label it as optional and we use the question mark before the full colon and that's going to label and that is going to label that property as optional. So when I go ahead and do this and we come back to the usage, you're going to see that our errors go away. And forget this, this is a React navigation typing issue and we are going to be fixing that. One of the most beneficial things when we are using TypeScript is that, let's say we are not sure about what other properties we could pass to this component here. You can go ahead and click Control space on your keyboard and then you can be able to see what other properties you can send. So let's say we want to send the variant. Remember our component dictates that the variant should either be blue or red. So I'm going to set it to equals. So when I do equals, Notice that we get the only the values that are accepted. So we can go ahead and pick one. So I'm going to pick blue. And when I save it, you can see that our component works normal. So let's go ahead and remove it for now. 
and now things are working so that's how you go ahead to type your components which is something you'd most likely will be doing using this prop types package so no more prop types no more npm install prop types so another thing you're going to be looking at is how to type state so you know we use the use state hook almost everywhere first of all you're gonna see that every time we declare our state we don't actually get typescript errors telling us to specify types for this state so what happens is whenever you use use state and you specify a default value it goes ahead and infer the type for that variable by the type of the initial value you set so here if we set null it's going to expect us to be using null for this type here so if we go ahead and try to set it something like a string so i'm going to go here and have a use effect that sets it something like a string so i'm going to do a use effect here i can't be able to do set message to hello notice that we get an error and it's saying that hey you can't set this to something that accepts null so what you can do to be able to accept strings in the future we can come here and put the less than greater than sign before the the initial value and we can specify all our possible types for this state so null is an acceptable type and also we would want to accept a string so once we do this notice that now this one goes away but if we try to set it to maybe an object that has msg and uh, for the message it can be like hello notice that that's not accepted so before I leave, if you want to use an object, the special type for an object is going to be a record type. So what you want to do is you want to use a record type and then you want to specify the types of your keys, which almost all the time is going to be a string. And then you can specify what your values are going to be. And that's also going to make sure that you can be able to set this to an object in the future. So in this case, we don't want to set it to an object at all, like never. So let's remove this and also we remove this.